supply. Uh, we were in Tanzania, in another country, witnessing, uh, doing evangelism, and uh, a snake came to attack us. I believe the witches sent it just to kill. Jimmy, it just flew in to yeah. attack you? Yeah, because it was waiting like in a, a large field, soccer field. Uh -huh. As we were walking through the soccer field, right during noontime, uh, this thing comes flying. You know, I, I, I never seen anything like that in my life. So what did you do? I just uh, screamed to the Lord for help. You name know, like of Jesus. The name of Jesus. That's the name that's above every name. And uh, it was destroyed right there. Wow. Yeah, that's, I've seen uh, witches flying up, you know, in, not, you know, like uh, with my eyes, my physical eyes. People levitating and coming to attack. I saw that this high level witch, witch came to attack me, on, on a, not on the ground, but up, levitated up, came to attack me, and I called the power of God on him. He fell down and ran. Yeah, because greater is he that is in us than the he that is in the world. Satan is defeated because I saw the power of God knock this witch down like lightning. I mean, he fell down and ran for his life. He could not stay. Could not stay. Yeah, I've seen uh, they, they said what I'm, I did to say in Africa. They sent so many snakes to the meeting and people were screaming snakes. I said, I rebuke those snakes in the name of Jesus. All the snakes disappeared. It was a high level witchcraft area. All the snakes were the people couldn't see the snakes no more. Because you see, in Africa, people do magic, they do all kinds of stuff. Uh -huh. You know, in America, it may sound a little bit too much uh, unreal for you, but it's real. And uh, we've seen those kind of things here in America too, as we're gonna talk about today. You have oh, in yeah. America? Yeah. The thing I've seen here is we had, when we first came here, I told you about it. Yes. We had a black crow would come to the front door and every day he would just peck, peck, peck at the door, and just call out his all his junk. Right. I went to that front door. They told me about it, and they said they did it every morning. I went to that front door, and I said, in the name of Jesus, you foul bird from the pit of hell, you go back and take your curses seven times more back where you came from. And then he went and sat in the food line and started yelling at me some more. And I said, no, not even the food line can you touch. You get off this land, I plead the blood of Jesus over this land, and you go back with your curses. I never saw him again. Wow, that's powerful. See, that's, I mean, that's what I've seen here. But I've never seen anything like you're talking about. Oh, yeah, God has been so gracious because, you know, I've seen deliverance uh, that is beyond the ordinary. You know, like uh, when uh, God gave me the revelation about a secret place and I wrote that book, uh, when people are dedicated book to the Lord, the book was dedicated, uh, dedicated to the Lord. And uh, some people, when they read the book, they go through deliverance just by reading. Just by reading this yeah, book? just by reading the book. This will help take them through deliverance? Deliverance, yeah. Uh, we have the book for you tonight. It's a love gift of $20. And I see you even signed them. Yes. And it's called uh, In the Secret, the Secret Place. Yes. And in here, what do you do? You tell them stories of what happened? I teach them uh, on the how to prepare to host the Lord, how to dwell in his presence, how to host him, how to walk in his presence. And as soon as you come to that place, no demon can, can stay. They can't come. They can't. When the glory of the Lord is there. Yeah, they can't stay. They can't stay. <laughs> no, because they're under our feet. I read this morning, yes. they're under our feet. Exactly. And he's given power and authority to us over they, all the works of the enemy. Over all the works of the enemy. And exactly that's what uh, God revealed to me in this book. I put together key elements and uh, item, you know, steps you can take and be free. And uh, some people have been reading this book and demons walked out of their body. I mean, creeping things. They like, walked out of their body? Yeah. A woman, a woman read this book and she had gone to uh, witch doctors, uh, spiritualists looking for help. They could not solve a problem. When she read this book, because she gave a life to Jesus, she read this book, a rat came out of her. A rat came out of her? Yeah. A rat came out of her. She threw a rat out, and she was reading the book. While she was reading the book, in, in the middle of the page, the book, she, something was moving up, and she threw up. It was a, a big rat. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it came out of her. And another lady bought this book for her daughter and sent it to her daughter. Her daughter read a book. Uh, on the fourth page of the book, while her daughter was reading the book, thirty-four leeches came out of the, the girl. Thirty-four leeches. Leeches. 
came out. And what was really shocking is that some of the time, this, the, the, the way witchcraft operates, they can physically put stuff into people without knowing. That's uh, something that I don't have time to expound on, but uh, just to give you a little glimpse on it. The Bible says that uh, the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. So these demons enter people sometimes through food. Through food? Yeah, through food. One child, one woman had a, a two-year-old baby, and the, the doctors couldn't find a sickness problem. Why is the, the child is suffering? What, what's the problem? They could not diagnose it. You know what happened? Uh, when she read a book, she, she put a book on the child, and uh, a cockroach came out of the child. Yeah. A cockroach? Cockroach. The doctors could not diagnose the problem. They, they failed. I got a lot of testimonies I'm going to share today. I mean, let your friends know about it. This testimony is going to blow your mind. Big testimonies. Wow. The things God is doing is a very unusual. Well, you have to go yes. up and down all night long. Oh, yeah, this gonna is going to be fun. <laughs> and so um, as I look at this one over here, then you can get up and go and... Oh, well, we just did it that way. <laughs> and so uh, I want you to get up and go to your phones and give us a call. Now, we don't have a phone hooked up. I thought we did, but we don't. So therefore, I want you to get up and give us calls. There are plenty of phone partners back there, and they will be able to answer any question you have about what's happening in your kids' lives tonight. could be what's happening in your life. We just need to hear from you. So go to your phone and make that call now as we go to Apostle Sally and the praise team. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. God Almighty. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. God Almighty. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. God Almighty. You're awesome. 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 Awesome is he, awesome is he, awesome is he, awesome is he, he's awesome, awesome is he, awesome is he, awesome is he, awesome is he, in the rain. You're holy, you're holy, 